When the scent of her lingers, baby. Oh, hello. How you doing? Yeah, look at me in my new cool glasses. I love my bands and I went through a stage of picking up a pair every other month a few years back. I know, stupid. So when I see that Ray-Ban and Facebook have got together to create the Ray-Ban stories, who was I not to order a pair? And for the record, I ordered these and paid for them myself out of my own pocket. This sadly is not sponsored. Although I wish it was sponsored, that would be pretty cool. Cool, 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 cool. I haven't bothered with any other smart glasses that have been released before, as I always thought they looked basically just a bit pants, and although I'm not adverse to making myself look like a head from time to time, I just didn't fancy them. Released back in September 2021, these are Ray-Bans slash Facebook's first attempt at smart glasses. And these particular ones are the legendary Wayfarer design, Wayfarer, which is good for me because most of my current sunglasses are also in Wayfarer design. And if you're interested, these will set you back a whopping 299 squid at time of filming this video. I do like to take photos and videos from time to time when I'm out and about but it's annoying getting my phone out all the time and being quick enough to capture the moment. And seeing as I'm always wearing glasses, these seem to be the perfect fit for me. So if they turn out to be more convenient than getting my phone out my pocket and the videos look half decent, then we're onto a winner in my eyes. Right, let, let's just open them up and get in the box because I don't know if you can tell, but I'm excited. There she blows. Case, the glasses, the gump, carry bag, USB type C cable. So what do you think? How do I look? How you doing? Right, so let's get them paired to my telephone. Start by turning on your glasses. Slide and hold the power switch toward the lens until the notification LED blinks, which is, I don't know if you can see that, right there. Next, wait for the LED to turn green. So it looks like I need to charge them. So they needed charging, which I did. I then sat on my sofa, or as you Americans would say, couch, and uh, couldn't be bothered to move. So this is now, in fact, a few days later. And that's a good thing because I've had the chance to play with them. So let's start by um, comparing these, the uh, new Smart Glasses Wayfarer design, with the original Wayfarer normal glasses kind of design. Seem to weigh the same from a hand feeling kind of perspective. Looking at them from head on, the frames on these are a lot thicker as are the um, the stems which go over your ears because obviously they need to house all of the smart stuff. Apart from that and these being gloss, these not being gloss, they are pretty much, so basically yeah, they, they are pretty much the same as the Wayfarer design except obviously we have the additional thickness for all of the smart stuff. Uh, so the new smart glasses, the Facebook Ray-Ban stories, whatever they're called, come in a range of six colours. I chose black, as my friend Mr. Ford used to say, You can have any colour as long as it's black. He's not my friend. He died like 70 years ago. As you can see here, you have a small camera on each side of the spectacles, which is a five megapixel camera, which takes high quality images, resolution will be on screen now, and also captures video at 30 frames per second, with a resolution of, which is, also on screen now. You press the button on the right once to start recording and again to stop. Then this little white light comes on so it shows people you are recording them, assuming they know that you're wearing smart glasses. If you're lazy like me and don't want to push a button, they have basic voice control, currently only in English for things such as, hey Facebook, start a video. Little light. Hey Facebook, 
stop video. Having used them for quite a few days now, the video quality is okay. It's, it's not great, but it's good enough. Although they do struggle with video and photo in low light having such a small sensor. But having said that, they are more than fine for me to post to my social medias. And if I want better quality, then I'll always take my mirrorless camera out with me anyway. I've also been surprised at how stable the video is because even though they're on my head, which is probably wobbling and moving, the footage actually looks pretty good still. Now, in addition to being able to take photos and videos, you can also listen to and control your music and make and receive calls using the three small built-in microphones that capture sound in all directions. And these speakers at the back of each ear thing sound surprisingly pretty good. The videos and calls is really good to my ear anyway. I'm no audiophile. And when listening to music, I was worried them about blasting the music out. But when in low to mid volume, people around me couldn't even hear the music that was playing. And it was only when turning them up all the way that they could hear this. But this was the same as when I was wearing headphones. Now, they are not super loud in my opinion, but they are loud-ish. They are good enough. They are more than enough to be listening to music whilst you're cracking on with some work or just walking down to the shops. So the case that comes with them doubles up as a charging case. So when on the go, they're always topping up the power, providing they're in the case and you're not wearing them, obviously. And the case itself can then be charged directly via a USB-C cable, which, as you saw, comes in the box. You will need to... <coughs> You will need to download and use the Facebook View app in conjunction with the glasses and you will need a Facebook account. So if you're against Facebook or social media in any kind of way, then these are probably not for you. So there you have it, the Ray-Ban Stories smart glasses in association with Facebook. I may be biased because I do like my Ray-Bans, but um, these are pretty cool and I'll primarily be using them for video because the photo aspect, the, the photos are okay, but I can probably get better quality photos by whipping my phone out. For shorts, quick uh, Instagram stories, or even TikToks, these are ideal because all I have to say is, hey, Facebook, start a video. So if you have any questions on these, please let me know below along with any other comments, questions, or feedback, and I'll do my best to get back to you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, like the video, even if you didn't, and hit the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Until I upload that video, Thanks for watching. Goodbye, Internet. Put this chain on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwin' shade on me, like they all shame on me.